Alors, bienvenue à cette séance extraordinaire du Conseil municipal de la ville de Kirkland en ce lundi euh, 13 janvier 2022 concernant le règlement de taxation. Tout d'abord, nous devons euh, adopter l'ordre du jour. Il est proposé donc d'adopter l'ordre du jour de la présente séance du 13 janvier 2022 concernant ce règlement de taxation de tout tel que déposé. OK, proposeur. OK, une seconde by. Excusez-moi, je n'ai pas entendu qui proposait. Le proposeur, c'est John Morrison. Puis secondé par. I'll second that, Karen Cliff. OK. Le euh, point 3, il s'agit euh, euh, du règlement de taxation. Donc, Bylaw number Gen 2022-50, entitled Bylaw Imposing the General Property Tax for 2022 and Adopting Other Fiscal Measures is presented for adoption. The object of this bylaw is to impose a general property tax and rates in accordance with the categories to which the units of assessment belong. This bylaw also determines the coefficient applicable to the category of non-residential immovable for the 2022 fiscal year, the interest rate for outstanding balance and the applicable penalty. Considering that a notice of motion has been given and that a draft of this bylaw was tabled at the regular sitting of the Municipal Council on December 6, 2021, it is a proposed that bylaw number Gen 2022-50 be adopted as tabled And uh, it is to be noted that all of the um, numbers that were presented in December, on December 6 were modified in this uh, bylaw. Therefore, um, it is proposed to adopt this bylaw with the new numbers that are presented into it. This bylaw will come into force on January 14 date of its publication on the town's website and boards and it will be available on the website in its final version uh, but it was uh, made available to the public in its uh, current version. Donc pour le 3.1, I need a proposer. 3.1, I need a proposer. I'll propose that Mike Brown. And second by I'll second that, Karen Cliff. Perfect, thank you. Jenny. Donc, la période des questions du public, la présente séance se déroulant sans la présence du public, les citoyens ont été informés par le biais du site Internet de la Ville qu'ils pouvaient poser leurs questions à tout moment avant 16 heures le jour de la séance et qu'ils allaient recevoir les réponses dans les jours qui viennent. The present sitting taking place without the presence of the public. Citizens were informed through the town's website they could ask their questions anytime before 4 p.m. on the day of the sitting and that they would receive uh, the answers to their questions in the coming days. And we received no questions uh, from citizens, which brings us to the adjournment of the meeting. Le proposeur, s'il vous plaît. Je vais le proposer, Dominique Zito. Et secondé par. I will second it by the four. Avant de terminer, euh, j'aimerais tout simplement euh, souhaiter une bonne et heureuse année à tous nos citoyens de Kirkland. On behalf of our city council, I would like as mayor to wish you a happy new year and hoping that this COVID nightmare will end eventually. Thank you very much for listening to our meeting for our budget 2022. Thank you.